dramatic game, Damien, on the wrong side of the result? A dramatic game, I'm sure it was exciting for, for many people. Uh, probably not for us as a staff. I think we uh, give away very poor chances and obviously very poor goals. Um, you're never going to win a game of football there and concede four goals, home or away. Was your response after going 3-1 down, were you pleased to see the fight? I'm pleased, you expect it. Okay, what have you got? Um, for me, they wasted 45 minutes at the start. I was in the first half. They were told that in no uncertain terms at, at half time. Didn't really come out of the blocks because we've conceded again shortly after half time. Yeah, listen, after that, we've created a lot of chances, haven't tucked them, scored some nice goals. Um, but on the flip side of it, we looked open. Yeah, the team probably hasn't played a lot together. Well, they haven't, It's I, I guess, but. That's uh, no excuse. Um, hats off to Bowles, a very young team, but uh, all credit to them. Um, every team in this country, I think, Darren should be built on the academy, so uh, listen, I'm sure they'll go home very pleased and hats off to them. Would you like to see a bit more leadership from your senior players who are involved tonight? Uh, listen, there's disappointing uh, performances for sure, whether it be senior players and you know young boys trying to make their mark. Uh, they'll all be hurting. I think the club should be hurting as a whole. Um, a lot of people, I think, in this country disrespect the Lancer Senior Cup. I've never done it. Yeah, we've changed near on the whole team tonight. But still a very strong team that should be good enough to uh, to to win a game and to win this game tonight. Um, so you know, I think it's good learning for young boys and old boys. You can't just turn up and expect teams to roll over because they weren't going to do that post tonight. It's been a long road back for for Conor Kane. Must be lovely to see him get ninety minutes tonight. Brilliant, yeah. Um, I think he lasted 90 minutes. Um, the one thing we know about Connor, he's up and down and he's fit as a fiddle. And he looked to be moving the best I've seen him since he's come back. We obviously gave him the, the skipper's armband. It was a nice gesture from Luke. Um, so I think if, you, if there's one big plus, I guess tonight is uh, Connor making his return. Um, I'm really pleased for him. And obviously, it's, it's a difficult night, but. Kyle Robinson getting two goals is probably something that will help his confidence. It will, yeah. Listen, he's a threat in the box. Um, they're two great goals, you'd have to say. And any minutes he's had, he's had this season, a lot of sub appearances, he's always had a chance. So I'm not surprised that he scored two goals. I was pleased for pleased for Shane, especially in the second half. I think he really impacted the game. But here you can give well done, and I expect Shane to to impact the game. He's nearly two hundred games under his belt, and. Uh, He's playing against young, young boys, so, um, but listen, as a whole, um, very poor, disappointed night. Where do you obviously go from here? You've got the big game on Friday, would it be easy to, to rejig and bring the players who missed tonight back into the fold? Well, it'd obviously be a B, big uh, rejig for Friday, it'd be a totally different team. Um, it gives me a few headaches because I did have a, a team in mind um, for Friday, and you can play yourself into a team there, but you can play yourself out of it as well. So we'll have to discuss that uh, over the next couple of days, the staff. But um, again, it comes down to mentality. Yeah, really disappointed tonight. They'll have to come in and train tomorrow hard. The rest of the boys are cover and uh, get mentally tuned into a game that we've struggled with historically. Um, so they need to bring it on Friday. Is the most disappointing aspect giving away a cheap goal after working so hard to get back into the game? I think the four of them are cheap. I can't wait to see them back. I think the four of them are really cheap, and on top of that, we've give uh, we've give a couple more chances away cheaply. Um, and when you look at our chances, you always feel as if we have to work hard for them. With beautiful football and working patterns, whereas we're just coughing up chances tonight uh, too easily. So, um, listen, like I said, I don't disrespect the game. I haven't disrespected the cup, and um, it's easy just to to brush over, oh no, we'll still watch it back and we'll still clip it and we'll still show players because there's learning and everything. Mindset and mentality, getting that right going into Friday is going to be really important, particularly because, you know, when you look at what happened to UCD last Friday, it can be easy to maybe let a bit of complacency creep in. Is that something you're going to be working on this week with the players to not expect something similar? No, I've absolutely told the players up there and it's I think it's good for you and everybody outside of Shelburne. I firmly put it on the players. They can drive this on Friday because I've tried everything. Uh, under the sun, um, how not how to motivate them. I think the staff do a really good job. 
of that. But uh, like I said, we've played UCD many times now and I haven't been happy with one performance. Um, so it's over to them. They can drive it. Yeah, we have an, absolutely a lot of quality in the squad, but uh, quality is nothing without it elite mentality and elite intensity in your game so um, I'm going to let them drive up on Friday. It's probably too soon to know who will be back or who's available but any news on Shane Griffin? Uh, Griff has a scan on Wednesday um, so we'll know more then Darren. Uh, outside of that there's obviously a few niggles of boys here not that we would have played them tonight and um, so I'm expecting an air on fit full squad uh, training with me on Thursday preparing for UCD and uh, yeah. Thanks, David. Cheers, Des.